7. The distance across the Irish Sea from the Isle of Man's Douglas Harbour to Great Orm's Head in North Wales is 60 miles. If the earth was a globe, then the surface of the water between them would form a 60-mile arc, the center towering 1,944 feet higher than the coastlines at either end. It is well known and easily verifiable, however, that on a clear day from a modest altitude of 100 feet, the Great Orm's Head is visible from Douglas Harbour. This would be completely impossible on a globe of 25,000 miles. Assuming the 100-foot altitude causes the horizon to appear approximately 13 miles off, the 47 miles remaining means the Welsh coastline should still fall an impossible 1,472 feet below the line of sight. 68. The Philadelphia skyline is clearly visible from Apple Pie Hill in the New Jersey Pine Barrens 40 miles away. If Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, factoring in the 205-foot elevation of Apple Pie Hill, the Philly skyline should remain well hidden beyond 335 feet of curvature. 69. The New York City skyline is clearly visible from Harriman State Park's Bear Mountain 60 miles away. If Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, viewing from Bear Mountain's 1,283-foot summit, the Pythagorean theorem determining distance to the horizon being 1.23 times the square root of the height in feet, the New York City skyline should be invisible behind 170 feet of curved Earth. 70. From Washington's Rock in New Jersey, at just a 400-foot elevation, it is possible on a clear day to see the skylines of both New York and Philadelphia in opposite directions at the same time, covering a total distance of 120 miles. If Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, both of these skylines should be hidden behind over 800 feet of Earth's curvature. 71. It is often possible to see the Chicago skyline from sea level 60 miles away across Lake Michigan. In 2015, after photographer Joshua Nowicki photographed this phenomenon, several news channels quickly claimed his picture to be a superior mirage, an atmospheric anomaly caused by temperature inversion. While these certainly do occur, the skyline in question was facing right side up and clearly seen, unlike a hazy, illusory mirage, and on a ball earth 25,000 miles in circumference, should be 2,400 feet below the horizon. 72. October 16, 1854, the Times newspaper reported the Queen's visit to Great Grimsby from Hull, recording they were able to see the 300-foot-tall dock tower from 70 miles away. On a ball earth 25,000 miles in circumference, factoring their 10-foot elevation above the water and the tower's 300-foot height at 70 miles away, the dock tower should have remained an entire 2,600 feet below the horizon. 73. In 1872, Captain Gibson and crewmates, sailing the ship Thomas Wood from China to London, reported seeing the entirety of St. Helena Island on a clear day from 75 miles away. Factoring in their height during measurement on a ball earth 25,000 miles in circumference, it was found the island should have been 3,650 feet below their line of sight. 74. From Genoa, Italy, at a height of just 70 feet above sea level, the island of Gorgona can often be seen 81 miles away. If Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, Gorgona should be hidden beyond 3,332 feet of curvature. 75. From Genoa, Italy, at a height of just 70 feet above sea level, the island of Corsica can often be seen 99 miles away. If Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, Corsica should fall 5,245 feet, almost an entire mile below the horizon. 76. From Genoa, Italy, 70 feet above sea level, the island of Caprea, 102 miles away, can often be seen as well. If Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, Caprea should always remain hidden behind 5,605 feet over a mile of supposed curvature. 77. Also from Genoa, on bright clear days, the island of Elba can be seen an incredible 125 miles away. If Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, Elba should be forever invisible behind 8,770 feet of curvature. 78. From Anchorage, Alaska, at an elevation of 102 feet, on clear days, Mount Foraker can be seen with the naked eye 120 miles away. 
If Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, Mount Foraker's 17,400-foot summit should be leaning back away from the observer, covered by 7,719 feet of curved Earth. In reality, however, the entire mountain can be quite easily seen standing straight from base to summit. 79. From Anchorage, Alaska, at an elevation of 102 feet, on clear days, Mount McKinley can be seen with the naked eye from 130 miles away. If Earth were a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, Mount McKinley's 20,320-foot summit should be leaning back away from the observer and almost half covered by 9,220 feet of curved Earth. In reality, however, the entire mountain can be quite easily seen standing straight from base to summit. 80. In Chambers' journal, February 1895, a sailor near Mauritius in the Indian Ocean reported having seen a vessel which turned out to be an incredible 200 miles away. The incident caused much heated debate in nautical circles at the time, gaining further confirmation in Aden, Yemen, where another witness reported seeing a missing Bombay steamer from 200 miles away. He correctly stated the precise appearance, location, and direction of the steamer, all later corroborated and confirmed correct by those on board. Such sightings are absolutely inexplicable if the Earth were actually a ball 25,000 miles around, as ships 200 miles distant would have to fall approximately 5 miles below line of sight. 